What's up everyone, April Dunham here. In this video, I wanna talk about how you can take your Power Apps applications and turn those into apps in Teams. This is a great way to get into Teams development if you're not a pro dev, but you do have those Power App skills in your pocket. We'll walk through the different ways that you can integrate your Power Apps into Teams, but first, here's the intro. For all of us that have used Power Apps quite a bit, we know that we can go to the make.powerapps portal or the Power Apps application on our mobile or tablet device and access our Power Apps that way. So here I have a Time Away app, for example, and I know within the Power Apps portal that I can run this app and interact with it. And maybe you've even went as far as embedding these Power Apps in your SharePoint sites by using the Power Apps web part. But what I've been finding is more and more businesses are using Microsoft Teams for their day-to-day -day work. Teams really is that one-stop shop where you can have your meetings, you can chat with your colleagues, share files and, and everything. And we know that we can have custom apps within here. So apps that are either out in the app store or that some of your pro devs have developed for you. So if you are living in Teams, wouldn't it be great if you can interact with your Power Apps directly in Teams without having to go navigate away to the Power Apps portal to do that. Let's look at a couple ways that we can integrate and turn our Power Apps into Teams applications. If you have worked with Teams and Power Apps, probably the first way or the way that you, most people know that you can integrate Power Apps into Teams is by going directly into a channel and clicking the little plus button to add a tab and embedding that Power App in here as a tab. So if we click the plus button here, one of our options for a tab is actually Power Apps. And when we click that, we'll see the option to choose from all the existing apps that you have access to. So that Time Away app, for example, I can just select that from this list here, click Save, and now I have this working Power App embedded directly here in my Teams channel as a tab. That's one way to get one in there. And also Microsoft is working on different ways to make it even easier to get these Power Apps into your Teams. So if we go back here to the Power Apps portal and I click on the details of one of my apps, I'll see a new tab up here to add this to Teams. So what this is letting me do is if I didn't want to just embed this app in a channel like we see here as a tab, if I wanted this app to show up like a true native app, like here in the left rail, I can do that with a Power App. And you do that by creating your own custom application. So what these instructions are telling me is I can actually download this application as a zip file. So kind of the same thing as if you were to go in and export the package. So I can click this download option here and it will package up my app for me. And now I can go back over to Teams and here in Teams, you'll see an apps tab here in the left rail. And if we scroll down on the left hand side, we'll see an upload custom app option. And in here you have two different options. So if you are a administrator for Teams, you'll see the option to upload for and it'll have your company name here. So this actually lets you upload a custom app that everyone in your company can use. The other option, so if you're not an admin, you'll just see this option here to upload an app for you or your Teams. Let's take a look at the upload for me and my Teams option first. When we do that, what we can do is just select that zip file that was created for us in the previous step here and click open. Now it's going to show us the, our application here and all we have to do is click add. Now look what happens when we do that. On our left rail, we have a tab for Time Away, which opens up our Power App. Now, since I use the option to upload for me or my Teams, that app is actually a personal app right now, so I'm the only one that's going to see it. So now let's talk about what do we need to do, though, if we want this Time Off application to show for every single user in our environment. Well, that would be the other option here. So when we click upload a custom app, you'll want to upload it for your corporation. So click that option here to add that as a tenant application. 
So again, just point that to that zip file which Power Apps created for us earlier and click open. And now when we do that, you'll see we have this other section here in the app button that says built for and then it will have your company name. So this is where all of the company tenant applications will show up. So you see I have a learning pathways get started app already deployed and now my time away application shows here. What I just did there was make the application available so that everyone in Teams can search for this and add this to their personal left rail here. If I go in here right now, click on the app and click add, that will add that to my personal right rail. But if I come in as another user, I wouldn't see that. I would have to go through the same process of clicking on it and adding it. So how can we basically deploy this application and have it stick or pin to the left rail for all of our employees. Well, to do that, we need to go to the Teams Admin Center and we'll hover over the Teams app icon and select Setup Policies. Now you might have multiple different setup policies here, but you can select the setup policy that includes the members of your organization that you want to pin this application to. In my case, this is the global app setup policy. And what you can see, which is what I've already did here, we can add a pinned application. So I can do a search for time here and the time away app will show up here. Now only apps that you select to upload to your corp will show up here as options. So if I had went in and said upload for me and my team, that app wouldn't show up here and I can't make it a deployed pinned application. I had to have selected upload for my corporation. So you just select the app and click add here and that will add that to the list. And of course you can select any one of these and move up or down to change the order so that the application shows up in the order that you want it to. And you'll just click save once you make that change. And something to note here, it can take up to 24 hours for this to be applied. So if you don't see it right away, just wait a few hours or to the next day and it should show up for all of your users. So you might have noticed I've already went through this process and here I'm logged in as a separate user and that time away application is pinned here as the third item. And so this user and all of my users will see this and be able to open up that power app. And another thing that's really powerful about this is the fact that currently in preview mode and soon to be released um, in prod is that these applications that you build, like so the power apps that we just went through the process and made it a custom app in Teams, will work in the native Teams mobile client as well. So let's just take a look and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So first here on the Teams app, to be able to get this to work right now until it's released, we need to go into our settings. So go into the about and turn on this developer preview setting. So that will enable you to be able to see these custom apps in the mobile client. And again, this will be released eventually, but if you wanna try this out right now, you have to enable that developer preview feature. But once you do that, now if you go into one of your teams and scroll up on that, you'll see all of the different custom apps. And if you look in there, we'll see that time away application. And if I click it, notice what it's doing. It's opening it up in Teams. It's not going out and opening up the Power Apps application on my phone. I can interact completely with this application in Teams. I hope that I've really demonstrated the power of embedding your Power Apps within Microsoft Teams and making them Teams applications. And hopefully you saw that every Power App is a Teams app because they make it just that simple as we saw here to create a Teams application from a Power App. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.